Hello viewers, I welcome you all for my Chintu Tech channel and today we will talk about the resource throttling in SharePoint. As you all know that SharePoint is a, basically a repository or a document management platform along with uh, some other features of publishing, announcements and many other applications. But major strength of SharePoint is managing the documents or keeping it in the repositories. For that purpose, whenever you create or save a large number of documents, as we are talking about majorly, those organizations who are, work, who are working or storing a large number of documents on their SharePoint environment. So, whenever you save large number of documents and you uh, perform uh, read-write queries, there are your concurrent users of uh, about seven to eight thousand concurrent users at a time who are accessing your SharePoint repositories with a read-write operations, uh, and they have concurrent sessions of IIS developed with your uh, app, uh, web front-end servers, application servers, and the database servers. Then there are some uh, extreme circumstances on which the resource throttling is very important. The source throttling is uh, maintained at the web application level. So if I click on web application level and this is my web application in which there may be some thousands of site collections or hundreds of site collections that are hosted and they have their separate uh, repositories of documents with separate permission levels and they are being accessed by your users and for that purpose if I go into general settings and go into the resource throttling, then these are some of the key performance indicators that are KPIs that are to be maintained or observed in order to uh, maintain your ideal resource utilization. The first thing that is the resource throttling element is list view threshold. Whenever there are lists are actually the records or the number of rows that are being generated that are being curated in one view for example if you go here and let me uh, create one folder test one so this is one row okay if I create 100 of records here, these may be your folders or documents. Okay. It may be uh, your, let's say, any document as well. If there are hundreds of records here, then we can say that how many records a query will take to retrieve these records in one view. One view is the view that is available on your page for viewing. So maximum number of list view threshold is 5000. After that, your database operations uh, may uh, take extra resources. So Microsoft defined the list view threshold up to the 5000 levels. It is always recommended that you can decrease it but it is never recommended that you increase it okay so the next thing is about the object model override if you choose to allow object model override users to whom your grant sufficient permission can override the list view threshold programmatically for particular queries you can define the object model override so that they can override the list view threshold programmatically if they want desire so List view threshold for auditors and administrators. For example, you are going to search or filter out some records from a million of records. And you want that the list view threshold for your particular users who are auditors or administrators may be increased from 5000 to some particular level. For that purpose, you can define the list view threshold for 20,000 maximum. This is the default values that are uh, defined by SharePoint. You can increase or decrease it, but I've already told you that it is recommended to decrease it, but it is never recommended to increase it. Because this is the value 
these are the overall records your uh, the query will take or the query will perform the query will ask from the database server in one query okay the next thing is that list view lookup threshold it is the lookup that is available from uh, the lookup columns because in lookup columns your one record is fetching its record based on the primary key and foreign key from another uh, entity or another list because you can say that uh, one record is combined with a union query with another record that exists on another list for that purpose if there are lookup thresholds or if you are using the lookup values then you can perform maximum 12 because union queries are always expensive queries and they take a lot of resources for the query from uh, for curing the data from the database server so list view threshold is the specific uh, maximum number of lookup person group or workflow status field data database query can involve at one time after the list view thresh uh, lookup threshold we uh, define the list unique permission threshold unique permission thresholds is 50000 that is if you are adopting the unique permission based model and you have applied unique permissions within a list of records then it is always recommended that the list unique permissions must be kept up to the 50000 after that you must uh, create a, a, a secondary a new uh, document library or a list you must not increase the list records from 50,000 to uh, any other value more than 50,000 for keeping the ideal performance you must keep it below 50,000 okay because your list uh, unique permission threshold uh, queries are quite expensive because they calculate the uh, permission they validate the permission of various users on one document or one record back backward compatible event handlers are off turning on and off backward compatible event handlers for this web application users cannot bind document libraries to backward compatible event handlers so it's by default off and it's not recommended to be on last thing is http request throttling and this job monitors front end server performance and in the event of http request overload reject throttles low priority requests etc okay so uh, the last thing is that change log delete entries from the change log after 120 days microsoft products including microsoft exchange microsoft sharepoint microsoft dynamics microsoft uh, skype for business and many other products they generate uh, logs and keep them in LDF files of database. It is always recommended that you define some particular days for which that logs are to be retained and after that these logs are to be drained off. So Microsoft recommend maximum 120 days. You can either increase or, or decrease it. But if you think that these logs are not of so much importance, it is always recommended to decrease it to reduce the resource throttling or to optimize the resource throttling procedure. So these are some of the KPIs that are available in resource throttling module of your web application and they must be uh, thoroughly studied, evaluated and decreased, only decreased, uh, recommended. Uh, so for keeping your performance ideal or optimal in the cases when you are dealing with very large content of data. I thank you all for watching this video. And guys subscribe my channel to continue watching and enjoying more videos